So the next thing we need to do is to remove a couple of blemishes from Steve's face. So if I just zoom in, you will see here that um, Steve has a black eye um, on this region here. I want to try if we can remove some of that or the majority of that dark patch of skin in there. And also he has uh, a bloodshot eye in that region as well, which we can remove with a different healing and retouching tool. As before, what I would suggest is, so we don't move this layer, go to the padlock symbol here and click on it. That will prevent us from painting or moving that layer accidentally, which you might find difficult to believe, but it's very easily done. Then I'll go down to the plus, create a brand new layer, empty in front of the previous one, and I'll just call this retouching work and keep that active and just move my layer to the side. And first of all, I'm going to zoom into the eye. So nice and close in here so I can see all the detail. I'm going to go to my healing and retouching tools, which we've seen the spot healing brush tool first. Um, this time I'm going to use the patch tool. So I'll hover over it and left click on the patch tool. This is actually two tools rolled into one. So it's got the functionality of the lasso selection tool. We need to create a selection around the blemish. And then we have a way that we can patch it with something that looks more desirable than what we've got originally here, which is the vein of the eye. So first of all, make sure that the selection mode is set to new and then under patch, set that to content aware. That will give us the best results. As you probably gathered by now, content aware means dark Photoshop magic. Don't worry about structure and color unless you really need to. You can you can adjust the end result of the color or the end result of the shape of your patch afterwards. It isn't usually necessary. And then, of course, it should be turned on by default, but make sure that sample or layers is also active as well. And then from here, hover your cursor over the start of the blemish and click and hold down the mouse. Keep it held down because of course this behaves just like the regular lasso tool. If you release the left mouse button, um, it will connect the start and the end of where your cursor is now from where you started and just give it not a huge border around the outside, but just a little bit of a border. Let go of the mouse, you get a selection and then we have to hover our cursor over that selected region and then you'll see the patch symbol and an arrow. So Photoshop's trying to tell us that we need to drag this selection. And, and in fact, it becomes kind of like a sampling tool. So hover inside of that selection, click and hold down the left mouse button, keep it held down and then drag. And we can just sample a different portion of white of the eye. Now, notice that even though it's picked up a little bit of the blue of the eye, when I let go of the mouse, it knows that area is surrounded in white. So it should be white and it does a very good job. So for those noticeable things that maybe you want to remove from an image like a bloodshot eye, then that will be the way to do it. Always when you've made an edit, go to select and choose deselect. And if I zoom out, I can show you from the retouching work layer. If I turn that off, that was before and that's afterwards. And I'll go to file and then choose save.